this video will provide some tips and information on the topic of taking your refugee food shopping and accustoming them to United States markets. In many markets outside of the United States, items are not separated and usually placed in the same area. For example, fruits are next to the ships. One of the most confusing aspects of food shopping for refugees is the size and different section that a typical American food store has. To help them adjust, explain to them how the aisles are organized with similar items just add vegetables and fruit or ship and snacks in the same section. To start shopping, tell your refugee to start with non-perishable items and finish with refrigerated or freezer items. So usually they would have like the objects that are sell straight in the middle of the of the store. And right now is they have seasonal things such as Thanksgiving, so they have cranberry sauce and the different types of broth that one may use. American food stores have organic and inorganic options. Although there is no scientific findings to support that organic is healthier, the price is substantially more expensive as well. Explain to your refugee that buying in organic is not necessarily less healthier. America has a lot of unhealthy options, so it's good for the refugee families to be advised with uh, different kinds of snack choices. For instance, they're both the same price, but this one has a lot more you know, calories than versus the, uh, the veggie harvest um, sun chips. Food stores carry multiple brands of the same or similar product. Usually, store brand is less expensive and similar in quality. If your refugee is on a budget, explain to them that the store brand would be a smart choice for keeping a similar quality as higher known brands, without breaking the bank as well. Food stores always place the most expensive items on the higher up always level shelves, with the less expensive on the bottom. Explain this to your refugee to make finding items easier. You may also want to tell your refugee family that this, sometimes there are special deals like this on the sign where it originally was $2.24 but now it's $1.64. Now your refugee family can find this information out when if they go to customer service and they can sign up to be on the newspaper where they can get coupons and they can know when these special deals are happening. At checkout, explain to your refugee that cashier will accept all or any coupons that they have as well as their choice of payment. This is also when they should present their food stamps or WIC program card in order to receive their items. Another option for your refugee if they feel comfortable is self-checkout. For you to start, welcome. Please scan your first item. So when you go to the items, you want to look at the barcode at the bottom and then you want to go over it and scan it and place it right in the bag. And then you want to do the same for your second item, which is there. And scan it. Click the done button and choose form of payment. Use the keypad to complete purchase by entering your form of payment. 